Wow, look at my ponytail. Today's video will consist of an unreasonable number of Ariana Grande jokes, uh, hair flips, as well as me playing with my hair. <laughs> Join us. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys a full face of some of my favorite new products from Sephora because as of right now, Sephora is doing their annual sale. They basically, actually they do it twice a year um, and they have it for different levels of Sephora members. So whether you're a Beauty Insider, Rouge member or VIB, they do a different percent off and they have the sale go on for a different period of time. They make it very complicated, as complicated as possible. But I will list those dates down below for you guys in case you're interested, but I thought this would be a good time to share some of my favorite products because for me at least, this is a great time for me to stock up on some of my favorite products that I use consistently and I love using. And as always, I will link all those products down below for you guys in case you are interested. Give this video a thumbs up, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on new videos here every Thursday and Sunday, and click the notification bell because apparently if you don't do that, you don't get notified when when my videos go live. I don't know why, but click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. And let me know in the comment section if there are any other products that you're really interested in testing out or stocking up on. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, now that we're zoomed in, let's start with eyeshadow base. This is the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And this has been, if you haven't seen all of my videos recently, my go-to one when I'm not testing <laughs> eyeshadow bases, which I mean, let's be honest, isn't that often, but it's just a really good eyeshadow base. It's not too sticky. It's not too creamy. It blends out really nicely. It has a tint to it and they have different tones depending on your skin tone. You can kind of pick and choose and it covers any, if you have like veininess on your lid or uh, discoloration, it kind of cancels all of that out and just creates a nice blank canvas to work off of. So for the eyes today, I wanna to keep it really neutral. I wanna do just a nice everyday brown kind of look, big lashes, a little bit of glitter on the lid, just something like that. Um, so for eyeshadow, I'm not actually using any eyeshadow. Yeah, I know. What am I doing with this video? <laughs> it's the ponytail, I blame the ponytail. What I'm actually going to be using for the eyes today is this Jouer Bronzer Duo. This is the Light Medium Duo. Um, and sunlight suntan and it just like the colors are nice and complimentary. They're not too warm They're not too cool toned. I like using them as bronzers as well And I like that I can just make a nice easy subtle look out of them So I'm gonna start with the lightest shade Just kind of sweep that into the crease and I don't have to be too Like precise with this look either which I like I need to move my mirror over move over. It's just nice and easy, don't have to think about it, and it's a dual purpose kind of a product, which I also really like. And then I'm just taking the darker shade along the lash line, just a little bit in the outer corner, sweeping it out towards like the tail end of the brow. It's really nice and easy breezy. And then I'll take some, I've been doing this a lot recently, so I don't overdose on concealer, but I'll take a blend of the two of them on like a shader brush and start blending out underneath my eyes too. It just forces me to go a little bit lower with the concealer. I can always add more of this product later, um, but at least it just kind of keeps the concealer down a little bit and it doesn't get as creasy. See what I mean? Look how subtle that is. It's just like just there, you know? And then for just like a little hint of something on the lid, I'm going to be using the Lancome Monochromatique and this is in Eclay. And I have talked about this single before. You can use it as a highlight. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it wet or dry. And it just like, oh, it's the perfect shade. It's so ridiculously like buttery smooth. The color is insane. It's amazing and you get so much of it too so you can use it on like just basically all over my face That's, I just want to bathe in it and this is just like a really good like everyday look I've been really enjoying this I mean yes I love playing with color and I love playing with makeup but I don't know recently just like a very soft easy look been really really digging it now we're gonna curl the lash oh I should talk about this too this is the Shiseido lash curler I have talked about this for about seven years now and it's amazing. I actually left it at Sylvia Ghani's when I went over to her place to film and I rushed out the next day and I bought one from Ulta because I cannot live without it. It just gets up right against the lash line and really curls the lashes. Like my lashes don't love to stay curled. They don't like to be curled. 
curling is just not their thing. And this really does make a difference. Like my lashes are lifted versus just like kind of like bent, you know? Now for mascara, you guys know, love mascara, love mascara. If you love like big, dramatic, thick, over the top black lashes, then you also love the same mascaras that I do. Number one, why sell the shock? This I re used because I had sort of, I don't know, I like, I, I test so many products. I kind of, it fell to the side. I knew that I loved it, but I hadn't repurchased it, retried it, bought it again, tried it again, fell in love with it again. And yeah, it's a really good mascara for like, like, false lash level of drama. It's crazy. And then the other one is by Wander Beauty. This is their Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. And this one, it gives the illusion of like full, but like separated and super long lashes. Like it's, it's just a really pretty look. So sometimes I'll combine the two of them. This one especially looks amazing on the bottom lashes because it really makes them look like fluttery and long. It's unbelievable. Highly, highly recommend both of them. And I can't stop using them. I put like two literal coats on my lashes, like one, two, and look at them already. That's it's just, I like, I love this. And now let's layer a little bit of the Wonder Beauty on top just for a little bit of extra length. So now that my eyes are done, I know this is super easy, but like it, I, I love it. Let's go on to primer next. And this is by Ollie Hendrickson. This is their Banana Bright Face Primer. And this stuff, I just, I keep reaching for it. It has vitamin C in it, which I use like a separate vitamin C serum as well, but like the more the merrier. It has a nice illuminating quality to it as well. It feels really good on the skin. It blends out really seamlessly. And like, do you see that sheen on my skin right now? It like glows, I'm obsessed. And now onto foundation. This is by Bare Minerals. This is their Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I have two here because I like to like combine the shades a little bit, but this is such a good foundation stick. It is water-based, it is hydrating, but it's not too moisturizing, which I really like. It's super creamy. It blends out on the skin to like a nice medium level of coverage. And it just leaves my skin looking nice and dewy and fresh. And like, that's what I love about it and it feels like I'm putting water on my skin. I don't know how to explain it. So I basically do three and then with the lighter shade I go down the middle of my face and then I blend it out. Oh man, my friend Asian brush is dirty. Boo! Once I put it onto my skin and kind of blend it out then I'll add more if needed and kind of build from there. What do you guys like to do at the Sephora sale? Do you like to buy things that and like stock up on staples or do you like to use this opportunity to like test out new fun and innovative interesting unique products let me know what you guys do i'm kind of i'm kind of curious now that that is on i want to just like a nice fresh medium coverage kind of a vibe you can go more full coverage with it but this is good for me we're gonna go on to concealer and i love the cover effects power play concealer this is a very nice full coverage concealer but it blends out to look like skin i keep meaning to get another shade of this foundation or this um, concealer because it's a little bit on the light side, but it's so good. It just blends into the skin, gives really good coverage. It's layerable. It's not going to transfer or smudge or just like, I don't find it all over my kids' clothes when I like play with them and stuff. That's how I know I'm not gonna use a particular foundation or concealer. If I see it all over my kids' clothes, I'm like, I'm out. And you don't need a lot of it. See, I'm just using like a dot and I'm just going over any areas where I have redness or I have little acne scars or any any areas I want to cover and I'm just like patting it in with my finger. You can use a sponge obviously if you want or a brush. You know, do your thing. I'm gonna do a little bit on here. Boop. I think between this concealer and the um the one by Makeup Revolution. Oh what's it called? The self setting ultra HD concealer is amazing. You don't need to set it with a powder. The only problem is is that the uh, the shade options for me aren't great, so I have to combine the lightest shade with like a much darker kind of a tan shade because those are the most neutral. And I'll usually still set it, but I won't set it as aggressively. Like I'll just kind of do like a light dusting. Okay. Let's go on to a thousand and one setting powders. For the first concoction of powders, 
Yes, that's right. I have more than one. I combine the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, which you guys know, I talk about this so much. It blurs the skin. It's super, super fine. And it just makes the skin look airbrushed. It's incredible. But the downside to this for underneath the eyes for me is that it is very, it's too yellow based. Um, it's not, I mean, it doesn't look super yellow based. You can see it there. Um, but for me, it just shows up too yellow. So what I will do is I will combine it with my Fenty powder and this is their lavender brightening powder. So I'll combine a little bit of both and use that to set under the eyes and it's perfect. Doesn't crease, doesn't transfer, doesn't look cakey. It just looks blurred and perfect and I love it. And I'll usually use a little velour puff. Sometimes I'll use a sponge. Sometimes I even use like the Fenty sponge thing. This is really good. And I'll just like pat it underneath. And I find that that does the best job at like not, I don't know, messing up the concealer. I feel like I'm so extra and over the top with my powders, but I feel like a powder can make or break your whole complexion, even more so than a foundation, because this can really either make it set and stay put and stay crease free, or it'll like break up your foundation and everything will look like a cakey mess. And it doesn't matter what you do underneath, the powder is what's gonna really make the difference. And then the other powder I've been really enjoying recently is by Jouer, and this is their Soft Focus Hydrate and Set powder. Now this is technically a setting powder. Like it says on the Sephora website, it in the, even in the title, set powder. But a lot of people have been using it as a finishing powder. So I've been using that recently as well, sort of dusting it on the outer corner. And that's really pretty as well because it adds this extra blurring effect. And I like this one because it's hydrating. And it, so it just, it doesn't emphasize any creasiness, any dryness. It just makes everything look really smooth. This one is a little bit of a harder powder than a lot of the other ones. Like obviously the other ones I'm using are loose powders versus this one. But even this compared to some of my other pressed powders, it's a lot harder. I don't know if it's because it's hydrating or something, but that was one thing I noticed. I like really had to like dig in to get some product, but I do really like the effect, so I'll do it. So my recent favorite is I will take my Mineral Veil um, by Hourglass, apply that to set the rest of my face and then go over it with a little layer of the Jouer. And then I'll set it with like a setting spray afterwards. Beautiful. Oh, actually before I get my cheeks, <laughs> good thing I didn't set that yet. I'm gonna go in with a stick blush and I've been loving stick blushes recently. This one is by Lancome, it is the shade Rose Lala, which is a very bright, bright pink. And you can really use any cream blushes. There are a lot of great ones from Sephora as well as from the drugstore, but I love cream products because they give the illusion that your skin is like glowing from within and like who doesn't want to look like they're glowing on the inside. I'll always start at the back and work my way forward so that the less amount of product is on my skin right in the front. And I feel like this is really important for me um, just in my face shape and I feel like having all of the product back here and sort of like gradually getting lighter towards the center looks the best. And also then I just sort of avoid the whole like clown face scenario. I'm gonna leave it at that for now, but I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably add some more later. I don't know what it is, but once I put it on and give it a second to like sink into my skin, I feel like I need more. <laughs> but we're gonna leave it for now because we can always build later. Now back in to finishing, setting my face, and then we can go on to bronzer. And we're gonna go back in with the Jouer bronzer and I'm gonna be using the Fenty bronzer brush. This thing, I like I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do, but it's great. Like just something about the specific angles and like where, they are it just makes putting on bronzer so easy and i haven't tried the fenty bronzers yet they were very kind and sent me a beautiful um press package but the shades they sent were too dark for me um so i have more coming so i will test that out for you guys but um the brush awesome just like it hugs right underneath the the cheekbone so well so you get that nice subtle kind of effect with the contour because you guys know I don't do a lot of like really heavy contour so this is like a nice like way to do it without going overboard. We'll even apply some along the bottom part of the jawline. Blend it down. So now we're gonna go on to highlight and I'm going to go back into the Lancome Monochromatique in Eclay and I'm gonna use this to highlight the face. 
Um, there are some good highlights. I've talked about like a ton of them from Sephora that are really, really good. Like, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Now, I mean, you don't have to splurge on a highlight from Sephora. There are a lot of really good ones from the drugstore too. And just because, you know, I kind of want to, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of a lighter highlight right on top just to make it like extra glow, you know? Now I'm trying to add a little bit more blush and I can't find the one blush that I wanna use. It's the Wanderlust Blush in Mykonos and I have no idea where I put it. Oh, I'm so upset, but it's just this pretty coral color. Very similar to this, this is a Kylie one, um, but it's, it's pigmented but it blends out really, really smoothly and it gives this gorgeous flush to the skin. Cannot, what am I, what am I brows doing right now? Get in there. And now we're gonna go on to, ooh, the lips. I have fallen in love with these Too Faced Peach Puff Diffused Matte Lip Colors. They give this incredible like popsicle stain look to the lips, but in a very like velvet kind of luxurious way. And it, it, like it just looks incredible. So it just has like a like a clicker pen type thing and a little puff at the end. And then you apply it and it gives a beautiful color, blurs out your lips and just like, it's amazing. It also smells like peaches, which is also awesome. This is the shade Stoked, which is just like a slightly pinker version of my lips. And I love it. Just a really good everyday shade. Um, but the formula feels incredible. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips and yet it's hydrating. I don't know how they did it. And now on to setting spray and I have two that I've been kind of going back and forth between or, or I'll mix them because why not? One is the Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and this is just a very fine mist. It gives a nice radiance to the skin but not in like a glittery way. It just looks like your skin is refreshed. It's not drying. It helps with the longevity of my makeup. It feels really good when I apply it. So really like this one. And then the other one is by Farsali. This is their Rose Gold Skin Mist. And this one is much more on the hydrating side of things. But when I put it on, it looks I don't even have words, it's so pretty. It eliminates all the powderiness on my face. It gives like a glow to the skin and it's like perfect for the summertime, but it is more on the hydrating side. So if you have oily skin, this is probably not gonna be a product that you like. Although a lot of people use this as part of like their skincare routine. So you could use it for that. But let's go in and we'll just spray a little bit of this on. Woo. The only thing I don't love is that this doesn't have as fine of a mist as this one. And now, because I totally forgot, I'm gonna add some more of the bronzer underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna use the, where's the Wonder Beauty one? There it is. Gets me every time, cause it's in like a tube form. So I always think it's like a lip product. Look how long my lower lashes look. Like that's crazy. And another trick that I'll do, because my lashes are now super, super long on the bottom, Look like spiders, this is awesome. <laughs> they look like spiders, this is awesome. Something no one has ever said before. I will take a clean um, eyeshadow brush like this one and I will dip it in to some of the Fenty lavender powder and I will just dust it right underneath where my lashes would naturally like touch down. And I find that that little bit of powder kind of gets onto the bottom parts of the lashes as well and it like dries them and it also like lightens up that area a little bit. And I don't know what it is, but I find that putting that little bit of powder there and I don't get like raccoon eyes or like little splotches there. It's awesome. Okay, now let's go on to skincare. The first product is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. And this is a duo product. So on the inside, there is an essence on one side and a sleep mask on the other. And so you apply the essence, pat it into the skin, and then you apply the sleep mask and you go to bed and you wake up with the most luxurious, like hydrated, lit from within glowing skin of your life. Like sometimes at night I'll use a retinol product and I find sometimes like on my forehead, I'll get a little bit of like dry patches or redness or something like that. And this product like eliminates all of that. It eliminates blemish, like I don't know what it is. It just like heals my skin and I love it. The other product I've talked about on Instagram and this is the Murad Hydration Night Fix Enzyme Treatment. And this is a product that you apply to your skin after everything else. So whatever other products you use, moisturizer, serums, essences, like whatever, you put this on last and it just like 
like locks all of those ingredients into your skin. So not only does this have good ingredients in it that it's going to make your skin look better, but it's also going to make the ingredients in the products you put on before work better too. It smells unbelievable. It has this like nice like sleepy lavender scent. It's not too overpowering, but it's just very soothing. So it's a nice product to put on at night and I'll just like smell it as I'm putting it on. It just makes me nice and sleepy and I just, I love it. I will put it on top of the sleep mask. I'll put it on top of like retinol product. I don't care. I put this on top of everything and it's amazing. I believe this is my second bottle of this stuff. I use it a lot. Another product that I use, but I use this in the morning time, this is the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. And this is like a glowy bronzy product. I mix in with my moisturizer or I'll mix it in with my sunscreen and I'll press it onto my skin and it like just enhances this like bronze glowiness to my skin. So if I've applied, I don't know, like a self tanner a couple of nights ago and my skin is like, it's starting to fade off of my face, I'll apply this and it just like brings back all of that warmth to my skin and then my face matches my neck again. Like I'll show you and I don't want to waste this product, but I feel like I need to show you like the level of bronze. Um, so I'll put a little bit here. It has like a glowiness to it as well and I'll rub it in. You can see like it has a lot more bronziness than I ever expected and it just gives like a nice sheen as well. Like I used it today. It's unbelievable. Now my one hand looks really good. <laughs> I'm just trying to spread, share the love, you know? But what are you guys buying with the Sephora sale? Are there like products you're stocking up on, things that you really love? Are there new products you're excited to try? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're buying and tag me if you do any hauls on Instagram. I wanna see the different products that you've gotten and if you purchased any of the products here today. Check out the videos on the side if you have missed any and that is everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome week and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.